Hey there everybody, JB Productions back with another fun episode. Now this week we're going to do some Photoshop stuff. So I'm going to give you guys um, uh, some really cool effects that you can do to your text. And make it, give it like a cool background and all that good stuff. Alright, so I'll start by pressing Command N to create a new document. I'll make it just a square document, 12 inches by 12 inches at 150 pixels per inch. Hit OK. Alright. Next step. Grab your text tool. And then I'll select my font. I'm using the Terminator font. And I'll set my text here. Make it smaller. A little bit smaller. And I'll type AB Productions. And I still gotta make it a little more smaller. Alright, and I'll check. Switch to my move tool, move it into the center. Press Command T for free transform and rotate it to kind of an angle. Hit enter. And right there looks pretty good. Now go to file. I mean no image. Image rotation. 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, now create a new layer. Go to filter, render, then click fibers. Whoops. Press shift delete to open the fill dialog box. Fill it with 50% gray. Hit OK. Now go to filter, render. Fibers. I'm going to use my variance at 16 and my strength at 4. And then, if you don't like the preview that you have in this little box here, see that preview? Then you can click this randomize button. And I'll give you something different. So I'll keep clicking it until I get something that I want. And that looks pretty good. I'll hit OK. Now I'll go back to my image menu. Image rotation. And 90 degrees counterclockwise. Then I'll go to filter. Blur. And motion blur. Make sure the angle is at 0 degrees. By default it will be at 90. And set it to 0. Put your distance really big like. Um, I set mine to 667. Just mess around and do what you want until you get kind of a brushed metal effect, which I have right here. So now if we lower the opacity of this layer. We'll go into free transform, pressing command T, and then rotate it to the about the same angle of the text. Got it a little bit too much there. Alright, then hit enter. Bring it back to full opacity. And then, if you hold on the option key on Mac and alt key on PC, and you hover between two layers, you see you get these little overlapping circles. Hold on, let me scroll in. See these two overlapping circles? That's Photoshop telling you that you're about to create a clipping mask of those two layers. So if you click, and then let me zoom out here. You see what we got? Um, the brush metal is inside of the text. So now, select your text. Hold down the command key. 
and click on the new layer icon and I'll set a new layer beneath it and then press G for the gradient tool make, sh make sure your foreground colors are set to their defaults if they aren't press the D key on your keyboard and then click go in here and select this foreground to transparent gradient hit OK make sure it's radio gradient and just draw oh yeah, yeah one more thing make sure the blend mode of the gradient up here it's set to dissolve opacity 100 reverse off dither and transparency checked on so then just do some random gradients anywhere to make them look kinda like splatters Alright, so I think that's pretty good. Now let me unlock this background layer and press Command E to merge the background layer with my gradient layer. Then Command I to invert it. And then we'll double click on our text to add a layer style. We'll add an outer glow, change the color to black. Set that blend mode to dissolve. And then um, bring up your spread and your size. Set the contour. Set the contour to so something that looks like. Um, let's see here. Set it to half round and anti alias checked on. And if you want, you can add a bevel and emboss. Bring that depth up. Style inner bevel, technique smooth, direction up, so check off, use global light. Hit OK. And That's pretty much it. Um, if you want, you can add some more design effects. Like for example, let's say you wanted to add a glow, make a new le like let's say you wanted your text to glow or have a glow wrapping around. Make a new layer. Grab your pen tool and just draw a curved path. Alright, and then go to your paths, click on it, then right click it, go to, wait first, go to your brush tool, hitting the B key on your keyboard, Oops. and then so, um, select basic brushes, okay, and select um well it really doesn't matter uh what kind of brush you use. I'm just gonna um do a white soft edge round brush. Bring up the size to about forty so we could see it good. And right click, go to stroke path, brush, and then simulate pressure. Hit okay. Wait. Also one more thing. Um, in your brush options, turn off all of these except for shape dynamics and make sure the control is set to pen pressure and then do it. Then click off your path to see what you got. And in your layer, you can see since we made the new layer, it's on the new layer. So bring that behind the text. I bring it behind the text, double click on it. I want to make it blue, so add a blue color overlay or whatever color you really want. I'll make it blue. And then add an outer glow. Make that similar to the same color you just picked, but a little bit brighter. 
set the blend mode to hard light, bring the spread and the size up until so you see something that you like, hit OK, and now you can just continue to play around and find the effects that you want, and yeah, so thanks for watching, bye.